Victory is yours, O oh chief, if you are willing to pay the price. Once again, my sons have come to me, asking, Where did you come from, father? The elders say you're an outlander and not one of our own. Where's your home? Tis all I can do to keep from laughing. Foolish children, I want to shout. I've lived two score of my life in this land. How long must I stay here before I'm no longer a foreigner? Then I see my lady wife shrug and smile slightly, and know she's remembering the day I rode into their village. A young but battle-weary warrior. How I looked into her eyes and knew my wandering was done. She's never spoken of it, sensing the memories are painful, and she has no wish to awaken them in my heart, though that far-off time holds no shame for me. Now, however, she places a hand on my shoulder and says gently, I think, Garrett, tis time. So perhaps it is. Now that my sons are fully man-grown, Maybe tis time they learn their sire's story. Time to tell them of their grandsire and his tormented kinsmen. Of a combat won and lost, and how it altered a country's life forever, and transformed a child into a man. To this purpose I summon my scribe, that his educated fingers may set down those events in my own words. So not only my sons but others will know of two brave and valiant men, and what happened on a beach in far-away Simene.